Welcome to Okayama. Okayama Prefecture is located between Hiroshima and Osaka, and is most famously known for its distinctive black castle. It's the perfect place to visit to escape the crowds during peak travel season, and has some amazing food. So today we're going to show you the top three foods you should try when you're in Okayama. Starting off at number three, oyster okonomiyaki. All right, guys. Right now we're at a really famous okonomiyaki joint called Kamon, and you may be wondering why is okonomiyaki on the list. Now, Okayama is famous for three things: peaches, denim, and oysters. And we're in luck because right now it is oyster season, so we're about to have us some fresh oyster okonomiyaki. One thing that I really like about this shop is that they made it right in front of us. So no pre-making, just they got all the ingredients out and they made it right in front of us, which really made us hungry. And I'm starving, man. Yeah, it smells so good. Let's see. Let's do it. All the delicious juices just exploded in my mouth, man. There is virtually no fishiness to the oysters at all. None. Perfect food for winter. They've got a nice hot plate right in front of you, and the okonomiyaki stays nice and hot. You know, this is actually my first time eating oysters with okonomiyaki. So honestly, I'm surprised that this combo actually works, and I think it's for the best. Number two, kibi dango. Right now, we're at a traditional Japanese dessert store called Koedo. And we're about to try Okayama's specialty dessert, kibidango. That's right. Now, kibidango is actually featured in Japan's most popular children's fairy tale, Momotaro or Peach Boy. So there's this boy named Momotaro that comes out of a peach, and he uses these kibidangos and he gives them out to animals that's willing to fight the demons that's terrorizing the neighborhood. And that's the gist of it. Yeah. Let's try it out. So here's a kibidango. It's served on a stick, and the way you actually eat this is you dip it in red bean. And soybean powder, kinako. Cheers. Mm. The mochi on that kibidango actually doesn't have any flavor at all, but it does have a wonderful chewy texture. And it's that red bean and it's the soybean powder that gives it that flavor. One thing that I really like about these kibidangos is that it's chewy, but not too chewy. It's Perfect. And as Bobby said, the perfect combination. You can also try a variety of traditional Japanese desserts here, like Zensai, a hot red bean soup served with grilled rice cake. Delicious. When you come to the store and you eat the desserts, you can enjoy it with a nice cup of hot coffee or matcha. Cheers. And finally, number one, tonkatsu served with demi glaze sauce. Right now, we're at a Japanese restaurant called Aji Tsukasa Nomura, and we're about to try some of their finest B grade cuisine. B grade cuisine? I thought we were all about the best quality food. You know what, Siwan? I'm glad you pointed that out. Now, it may sound a little weird, but Okayama is actually famous for its B grade cuisine. Food you typically wouldn't find at a top class restaurant. But focuses solely on taste. I see. So if it tastes good, it works. And the demi glazed tonkatsu that we have over here is a prime example of B grade cuisine. Yeah, usually tonkatsu doesn't come with demi glazed sauce, but this one does, which is actually an Okayama specialty. I feel like this is something that my mom would bake me at home, and it has a cozy feel to it. First bite. Mmm. The pork is so succulent. That sauce is a little bit different to your regular demi glaze sauce. It's really tangy. It's got that kick to it, and goes surprisingly well with that pork. We were totally right about it being cozy because this is the perfect taste of home. And you know what? You can only get this in Okayama. Only in Okayama. Surprisingly for us, the star of this dish wasn't the tonkatsu or the sauce. It was actually the rice. It's a little bit chewier and harder than regular rice, but mixed with the demi glaze sauce, it's really good on its own. And like a lot of restaurants here in Japan, ordering and paying for your food here is completely self-service. Thank you guys for joining us on this top three Okayama food video. 
All the details of the restaurant are in the description box below. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Welcome, Welcome to Okayama. Okayama. Oh, what's that up, Oliver? Oh, dude, that was yeah. good, though.